Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now in today's episode, what I was thinking, there's a couple of things we would like to do. Oh, we have a research complete. Okay. Uh, yeah, so first of all, I've uh, tidied up a few things in the, well, before this episode. And um, yeah, in today's one, what I'd like to do is, because we've got quite a few Klossy Trekos already, I would like to remove all the normal trekos, and so that's why we've started cleaning up this space. We'll keep it in chlorine environment, and uh, yeah, they're they're essentially gonna eat palm lilies. Now, what we'd also like to do is improve our power production. So there's a couple of ways how we can achieve a slightly better power production. Uh, one would be going to this space here and putting in a few solar panels. We just need the glass forge and I was thinking we'll probably put it here for now. It's nice and cold and we can make a few batches of, of glass for the panels. Then once the Treco farm here is complete, I was thinking we could also put in a temporary power production zone in here, but also a bit of food as well, such as those pinch of pepper, uh, pepper plants. I think their temperature range is a little bit higher, which actually works out pretty nicely for us. And uh, what I'd also like to do is, I'd like to send someone to the other planet, just to see what's happening there. I mean, we sort of know what to expect if we check the planet. And uh, it seems we've got, uh, some, we've got some hydrogen there, natural gas, sulfur, Chlorine and oil. Now, oil will be great to bring over. And then uh, we could make a bit of a petroleum boiler down here. Not entirely sure whether we should use those. I'm pretty... Um, I think there's volcanoes in here. Most likely minor ones, because they seem a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure if we should use the magma from the core. Or somehow from those minor volcanoes. I guess we could try and see see how it goes but yeah okay so right now we're focusing on this area uh one thing i'd like to do in here is i'm leaving this two tile cap and the reason why i do this i notice there's a lot of different gases well mostly co2 that's building up and that's because our tubes are not in atmosphere so i was thinking hey let's give them a additional uh, passage over here and we're just pushing everything to the left uh, I think there's a plant in there, isn't it? Yes, there is. Right. Yeah, so that's what's happening. We're slowly pushing over. But what are you guys up to now? Okay, bit of that. That's fine. How far are we with the research? Do we have enough bolts in here? We've got a couple. Oh, uh, we're doing... Are we doing the other ones right now? Not really sure. No, Bubbles is sleeping. That's fine. Let's try and figure out how we're going to get this glass forge in here as well. I believe it was under refinement. Yes, it is. And what shall we build it out of? Um, let's make it obsidian for the time being. And oh, okay. So we want the class most likely to drop somewhere lower. But everything's in the way right now. And when it comes to this room in here, I don't think we're gonna keep it. Like, yeah. We could build the glass forge right over here. So, do you know what? Let's do it. Let's just rip everything out from here. Okay, quick autosave and just take it all out. There we go. And then what we shall do is let's grab those mesh tiles and we'll just bring it over a little bit. I don't think we need it too far, do we? And the glass forge, yep, that could sit right on top of this one. And the glass could drop down right about there and melt most likely the rest of the snow and and things in there as well so we'll leave the tubes to tidy up this area a little bit we'll see how much they can do and uh, we'll check back on them in a little bit i think we have a new delivery as well so what do we have um food we're okay but you know what let's just grab a couple of nutrient bars and that is good all right the Put in a couple more of them ones. Let's give you a high priority. I'd like this to be done pretty much straight away. And um, I think we are going to have to dig our way into 
into here as well to remove all that bleach stone. Uh, I think long term wise, what's going to happen in this section on the side of the map? This is the area where we will move all sorts of hot materials. I am assuming that the oil that we extract from the other planet is going to be pretty toasty. So I'd like it to pop out from here. And we'll vacuum this side of the map out as well. And then it's going to travel through the vacuum and go down to, well, one day when we'll, we'll have the petroleum boiler here. And the same once we start putting in some sort of um, other equipment that's going to be pretty hot will send the CO2 or any other gases off the map most likely all the way up to the space. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to sort of limit all so sorts of gases that we have here and keep pushing towards the left side of the uh, left side of the map. But we are going to speed uh, speed it up a little bit. Let's check up here. Uh, you Muppets. There you go. Take the last tile as well. And we'll probably have to allow them to go a little bit higher, don't we? Yeah, let's put a few ladders in place. Okay, now that's the plans for this map. And actually, whilst they're doing all that, why don't you... No, we don't need it here. Yeah, I'll put a couple more floors in place. Actually, we don't want any oxygen going up, do we? No. Uh, CO2 is fine. We're eventually going to push it all down. Uh, but I was thinking, let's look at who would be a good candidate to go to the other map. Frankie, his morale need is pretty high. Well, same with Harold. May is only 10. Uh, Marie, 12. Okay. Uh, I think May, you shall be sent over, but we're first going to check when uh, she's sleeping right now, which is fine. So as soon as you wake up, we'll put you in the teleporter, which should be any second now. Where is May? And I believe she's awake now. Okay, off you go. Grab your things. And teleport. Alright. Well, we've got a few fishies over here. A couple of box, uh, block slugs. So that could be our power needs for the early game at least. Oh, there's a lot of fish. This could be pretty good if we turn it into some sort of a Baku farm actually we could fe uh, feed our dupes on this planet um the Baku filet oh there's something over here uh let me just uh, think how shall we proceed in here because we need the toilets clean water will be needed for that and we don't really have any sand here right now do we so we might have to ship over some sand from the other planet, but the teleporters we have not found just yet, so... Yeah, that's gonna be a little fun to plan this out. So give me a second and let me put a few commands in. Okay, I think we're keeping it pretty simple. We're just gonna have a temporary toilet down here. And I'm just gonna get, try and get, uh, get access to this, bump it there as well. There is a bit of clean water that we can use. There's a small pocket in here as well and up there. So if we are smart about how we approach this, then uh, that water should last us a little while. Let's turn the direction towards this way as well. Uh, we would like to have a door right about there. And you should probably get us some water. Yeah, let's do this one. All right, we should be able to fill up the the wash basin with some water and May seems to be filling it up right now, which is great. I was initially thinking of sending her back at the end of her shift, but now that we have a little bit of food in here, I'm actually thinking this might become her permanent or semi-permanent living space so we'll use this area as a bedroom uh, let's have a look at the room overlays yes we do have the toilet barracks 
and a mess hall now, which is actually pretty good. Now, to turn it into a great hall, we are going to need some sort of... Uh, let's see, if we can put a water cooler here, we might be able to turn it into a great hall. Never mind, the shift is over. So we're going to leave you to it. May this is your station here and there. And okay, let's have a look what's going on on our main planet as well. How much have you managed to complete? All right, so just one more line here. And yep, that's going to be the wall here. Beautiful. Now we will patch up the rest very quickly as well. Let's give you a slightly higher priority if we can get these done. I would be very happy. Alright, and not all. Let's just take the buildings. Remove you. Okay, that looks good. And we'll slowly try and patch up this area in here too. Okay, so that's good. Now, having a quick look up here. Wonderful. They've pretty much demolished everything in here. So we can start producing a little bit of glass. Uh, we'll have to be careful because we're not producing a whole lot of power. But I think we should be able to manage so. All we're going to need is, let's see, if we have insulated pipes, I guess we'll have to use obsidian. And hope they're not going to melt. And when it comes to, yep, let's use gold amalgam. And that should, that should do the trick. It's not going to be a great permanent solution, but for the time being, just to produce a little bit of glass that um, I hope it's going to hold up. Okay, a quick update. What we are now doing, we are slowly trying to move all those pakus, all the fish into some sort of a contained area. So all those pools, we'll, we'll try and direct them more towards the left side of the map. So they're hopefully going to be out of the way. I think there's... Oh, there's ethanol there. And there's another pool in here, which we can direct it pretty easily towards lower parts in here. Unfortunately, we cannot quite dig the obsidian. But I think once we provide May with some better living conditions, then um, we can increase that as well, or, or fix it up. Uh, right, so May is going to carry on with that on our main planet. Someone's suffocating. I have a feeling it's these guys over here. Yep. I would much prefer to move into the atmosphere very soon, but I think I think we can still get this area done, and maybe we get to atmosphere in the next episode. For now, we've got the glass forge done over here, so let's queue up about 20. Let's see what happens. Uh, we should probably build a bin here with some sand. Yep, let's do that. Let's put some sand over here, so it's going to be a little bit closer when we are producing all that glass. And then, yeah, we'll make a little bit of glass, try and break through this space, put a few panels down there, so hopefully... That's going to help uh, recharge our batteries during daytime as well. Alright, let's jump back into the uh, secondary planet. Okay, May's just finishing off that side over there. We've got quite a few fish in here already. And uh, can you use the... Let's have a look. Where is May? May is here. Oh, she would need the cooking or grilling. It seems morale-wise, she's okay for the time being. That means we are definitely going to need some power as well, so... This lonely block slug over here is probably what we are... How we're going to achieve that. There are a couple more up here, so if we bring that cable over... That could be very, very handy actually, so yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, let's see, we shall bring that cable through there. And we should probably put some flooring in these spots as well. And there's a bit of polluted water on the ground, but that's nothing to worry about. We'll just clean it up. Uh, now, we do have the teleporter over here, but I have not... Never mind. The receiver end is in here, so we can... Can we connect you up? Okay, there we go. All we gotta do is climb up here, activate it. 
We'll ship over some sand and then we can turn those toilets into slightly fancier ones. And that should increase the morale a little bit as well. If we look at the room overlay, now it's still a mess hall. Okay, I was hoping one of those decorations here might help us out, but it seems it's not quite enough. But that's, uh, that's okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to carry moving things around here a little bit. And uh, once we have either a little bit of class or this area is a bit more complete, then we'll jump back again. All right, and after many cycles of doing a bit of preparation work, we finally have the farm in place. And with that, most of the automation as well. Let me just speed up the time real quick. And now we've got a few plants growing, but most of them, uh, they're still saying that it's a little bit too cold. We'll fix it in a second once we pump in the slightly warmer chlorine from this area onto the other one. Um, we've also made quite a bit of glass. I think if we check over here, 274. Okay. Well, that means we can place down at least... Uh, let's see, we do it about here just to get it started. And we'll connect it with the ladder as well. There we go. That should be enough. And uh, we'll have it in. I think the next one... Ooh, potential load is 4,000 watts over there or 4 kilowatts. Okay, so that's quite a lot. What we'll probably also have to do is we'll... Um, have to change our power network a little bit. And I'd love to use the heavy watt conductive wires. However, they are going to take so many resources. So we might just use the conductive wires instead. But I guess we'll see. We'll get this uh, solar panel built. And uh, once we are ready to upgrade our power network, we shall do that. Let's have a look on the other planet as well. I almost forgot, but we have this cryo tank over here. And which is hiding a dupe. May seems to be a little less busy now, but... Uh, do you know what? Let's just uh, send... Oh, let's send the rest of that polluted water. And also all the Bakus into our main tank over here. Uh, the next progression for this planet will probably be to put in, I guess, bedrooms right on top of it. Uh, that means we have to manage this water a little bit. I guess we can just send all the mixed water straight into this uh, mix blob of uh, reservoir in here, and then using the bump and uh, we can um, filter it, send the dirty water to the left and keep the clean one somewhere around here. We also have the wire in, but we don't really have the battery just yet. I'm just still trying to figure out where do we want to place things. And so, yeah, the priority has been more about tidying this area up. And I guess once we have the bedrooms in as well, we will give May a friend. Now, on, back onto this planet, let's try and get something done, uh, well, almost done, uh, I, I should say. We'll still have to clean up this, uh, both those ranches, so I'll give them a priority of four to tidy it up. But what I was also thinking, hey, uh, let's break into this area. And what we shall do here is try and equalize all that chlorine. It uh, should be slightly heavier than the oxygen but it should stay above the co2 so yeah let's get this done we'll dig deeper here and let those uh, gases mix about we want the polluted water to go upwards and get out of this area and then we'll pump out all that juicy chlorine i already have we have a look at over here the pipes in place so all the chlorine will be dumped in here i am hoping to get rid of that co2 so i'm just gonna let it build up in this a little corner here but until we have the pressure a little bit higher we um, we're not gonna get rid of those co2 just yet um, yeah so the tubes will be will be planting or building all that and let's have a look what's going up 
on up here. Okay, so we're putting in the door now. So that's really good. Uh, let's have a quick look at how much metal do we still have. Well, a little bit, so I guess we could. Let's not go too far. Oh, that's going to go through the door. Well, that's a little bit annoying, but okay. Oh, well, let's bring it down like so. And what we'll tell the dupes is this is the highest priority. And after the autosave, we'll also say that, you know what, build this first. That should be fine. We'll lose a little bit of pressure here, but that's just very minor. The dupes won't be going into the space too often. It's just literally going to be whilst they're constructing all that over there. All right, let's zoom back down over here. They've opened up this space already, which is great. Hopefully none of that chlorine is going to escape from here. And we'll give you a slightly high priority as well. There we go. And with the rest, uh, let's increase it to seven. I'd like them to keep focusing on this area. And I don't think we really want you running around. So we'll remove you as well. Ooh, we also have a little bit of ice here. Actually, quite a lot. So please to... Um, right. Let's put some ice in here. Here we go. And carry on building at this ladder. So that is good. Let's jump back on to the other planet. The little fishies seem to be making their way across to the other side. Let's get rid of you two as well. I put in this automatic dispenser. So any eggs that we sweep, they will be dumped into this tank. And I believe there's quite a few parkers in here already. The next uh, step, yeah. Let's try and... Tidy this up. We'll put in a bit of a kitchen somewhere. And then a bathroom. Do you know what? Yeah, let's just... Um, we'll release every everything down. Up here. Oh, you're a little stuck, aren't you? So why don't we remove those doors? So that way you can just hop on onto the reservoir as well. May, where are you? Okay, you're constructing this right now. That is one, uh, fine. And in here, yep, none of those plants seem to be really growing just yet. It's a little bit, hmm. Okay, pretty much the same temperature. I do like this here, however. Nice 45 degrees. So we'll definitely bump this over. Now, we want to keep this heat in here. So... Probably have to block it in, but where from where should we do it? I guess we could go from directly here. And in the future, if we need to expand, we can we can always do that as well. Alright, please keep digging downwards. Is the chlorine staying here? I think it is. Okay, that that is good. And we'll extend the fire pole as well so they can just zoom on all the way down there. I think it's going pretty much all the way to the top. Uh, just a little bit more in here. There we go. And that's all in place. Beautiful. They don't really... Well, they're not really able to reach the solar panel just yet. So that is fine. How much glass do we still have? Quite a bit. Okay. Uh, right. How far are you? You're not really interested in doing all this. Okay, well. Let's give you slightly higher priority. Let's keep this going, guys. And yeah, all the bleach stone that we have as well will be stored in here. I've given it quite a high priority, so anything they find, they will store in this storage bin. And uh, okay, let's connect this up as well. I guess we'll just go from here. We shall be needing a filter. Okay, just a second. And you can... Yeah, that's probably a good spot in here, isn't it? All the chlorine will be going this way. And then anything we don't need, I guess we'll just dump it somewhere, somewhere here. Yep, there we go. And then we'll give it a bit of power as well. How about actually a second one? Just so we can speed it up a little bit. I hope it is gonna work, but um, yeah, there's still quite a lot of chlorine. Okay, 
starting to settle now. I think all that CO2 is hopping over as well. But yeah, I'm gonna let the tubes to finalize constructing all that. Once it's ready, we'll jump back in. Okay, and here we go. The filters in place, pumps are working. And all that nice warm chlorine shall be going into our ranch area right about now and hopefully that's gonna heat up this space a little bit as well how warm is it here 38 44 okay yep that's uh looking pretty good if that's not gonna be enough then uh, the next project that we're gonna have here is that temporary power production area which will definitely heat this space up and therefore allow those palm lilies to grow as well. Yeah, we'll let this run here for a li little bit. We'll get a few... Actually, let's uh, dig out these bits in uh, here. And uh, we'll take a look at up in the space. We've got the panel in already. Just need to get the wires in. Then we'll try and drag it all the way down and maybe connect it up somewhere with this battery just to start with. But for that, I believe we are going to need a little bit more metal. So why don't we queue up another 10. And let's quickly check out the other planet as well. All the water is now gone, which is great. May is a little bit less busy right now, but that's okay. We'll tidy up this area even further, put in a few extra rooms and then we'll bring out our new friend from the cryo tank as well i'm sure they're pretty excited to jump into the colony but all right i think that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode we've achieved everything we wanted to achieve in this one just need to continue putting in the automation in these farms and does it seem a few plants are growing no none of them well that's fine we'll get them growing in the next episode but in the meanwhile Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and see you again in the next one.